Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Now you get out of here and enjoy your day off. But don't enjoy it too much. You have to work all night, remember? So, we made the wrong choice, and uh, we're now paying for it. Oh. Yeah, I probably want to take that with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to leave that here. That would be unfortunate. Oh, God! The rat problem is even worse than I thought! We eat all of our meals here! Yeah, that might be because of the hero I picked. <laughs> uh, it shows a rat as a hat, really. This hat... It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Yes, I would recommend you get rid of that hat immediately. Burn it. And then wash yourself. Ah. Oh! Oh, I can go this way? I did not realize. Isla, Simon, Lamont. How's it going, guys? Hey, if it isn't Little Miss, I haven't been around for a while. Where you been all this time? Not around. I got what every kid fears they'll get one day. Chicken pox? <laughs> Worse than that, Simon. I got a job. What are you up to? Well, you just missed the rock-throwing portion of our morning. Sadly, we chucked the last rock in the alley over the fence. Next... Well, we were thinking of seeing if we could get our mitts on some of the cool stuff that Garby guys got over there. They look like magical toys, basically. I have to use a bunch of those for my job, and even though they look like a barrel laughs, they're serious business. Come on, Lil. For some reason, the world is basically treating you like you're old. Work your magic and score us some sweet loot. I'm mm. not sure if it's a good idea, but I'll talk to Garbanzo over there and see. Ah. A part of a uh, sort of hip hop game. Okay, should I be taking a photo of this maybe? Because I'm going to do that. I feel that is important. Although I feel like I should have been able to go this way. And I just didn't notice. I have a photo. Yo, what's up, Gab? Hi, Lil. Sorry, I'm not quite ready to open up the shop yet. I can't seem to find my inventory key. What are you doing up so early? Work in the graveyard shift tonight. So, I'm finally available to see some of my friends who have responsible parents and reasonable bedtimes. People like those small hooligans over there? Those aren't small hooligans. They're my friends. And I was actually coming to talk to you about letting us borrow a couple of items. I stand by my statement. And we can talk about loaning you some merchandise later. But first, I've lost the key to my inventory, and I think one of them might have stolen it. Maybe you could talk to them for me. Work your little guardsman magic and see what you could do to get it back. On it. <laughs> uh great, we're playing mediator. Alright guys, time to confess. Which one of you took poor Garby's inventory key? Was me. I don't know. I ain't saying nothing. So that's the way it's gonna be, is it? Listen. I need that key to upgrade tools and buy more power crystals, so one of you is going to tell me who's responsible. Are you a lawyer all of a sudden? Nope, but I'm a guardsman. I hope you got your story straight, because I really don't want to go down to the guard shed and get my metal detector. So tell me, which one of you took Garby's key? Yeah, probably. It was Simon. <laughs> I've never brought this up to the group before, but I think Isla is a kleptomaniac. I always see her taking things out of Lamont's backpack when he's not looking. But also... Between you 
and me, I thought Lamont poking his big, dumb, handsome nose that sits in the middle of his gorgeous face all around that booth. It was probably him. Oh, he's such a bad boy. But also, I could make up my mind now or dig a little deeper. I think it's him, but... I said it before, I'll say it again. It was Isla. No, he said Simon before. So, did you figure out who took my key? I hate to be a narc, but I think it was. It was probably Lamont. He's the tough looking kid with the missing tooth. Thanks, Lil. I'll be right back. Hey, you! Mullet boy! Stay right where you are! Uh... <laughs> oh, got the key back. And those hooligans ran off. It's a win-win! Now my shop is ready to open. For helping me out, I'd like to offer you some gold to upgrade one of your tools. I'm or load up on crystals. Whatever your little heart desires. I mean, I got 50? Huh. Nice. Uh, I can get five work if I want to crystals, or I can get an upgrade. Uh, I feel like the whip's under I feel like the decodering is underused. I need to use that more to see how I can actually use it in different situations. Hmm. Yeah, let me go this way, actually. Is there anything else over here? Oh. Uh, sure. Sweet! A bit of power crystal I lost. Oh, yeah, shall I uh, sell to this guy? Need something else? Oh, I can't sell food to him. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that crap. What do I do with the rice and the, the cake I've got? Do I, like, eat them? How can I give them to people? Oh, no. Uh. Uh huh. All right, let's start off by going to the dig site. The Mages Guild, huh? Well, that's just great. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I could go back in time to when she was here. Yeah, but Dr. Be B did say I could only use it at the guard shed. Maybe that's why it's on the fritz? I better just get to my ship before this thing explodes. Uh, huh, let's go here. Let's see what this thing wants. Hmm. I can't believe I put rats all over the city. Ah, so I can go to places, but that doesn't necessarily mean anyone's actually there. Right, right. Uh, I guess I'll stop my shift. Uh, actually, no. Let's go to the guard. Uh, not guard, the uh, Coliseum. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's the old grandma. Oh my gosh, really? Of all the hatch you could pick. Oh, hello, dear. Are you here to watch the Goblin Ball game? Hiya, Mrs. A. I usually find Goblin Ball too boring to watch. Unless, of course, there's a little action on it, if you know what I mean. I most certainly do. I've got this month's pension check riding on a sure thing tip that's going to pay out big time. <laughs> You sure seem confident, Mrs. A. Care to share that tip with this underage gambler? 
<laughs> Your father wouldn't be pleased with me, but I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. Since I really bet the ranch on this next game, I don't have any gold left to buy my snacks. Would you be willing to help a little old lady buy a large hat made of nacho chips with melted cheese sauce on top? Mama just can't enjoy the game without one. I know how you feel. That sounds... I don't think I should, Mrs. A. Heavily salted food at your age could contribute to what I'm guessing is an already existing heart condition. Why, you presumptuous little... No matter. I'm sure Fredo will spot me for it. I'll be good for it after my bet comes through anyway. Mm -hmm. This hat... It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey... It continues. I don't know. What's up, dude? Step right up, one and all, and win some money on the Goblin Ball! Hello again, Fredo. Again? I've never seen you before in my life! But I placed a bet with you, on the last game! Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> the Kaladar Lightning game against the Brawlers? I won some money! Okay, if you say so. Person I've never seen before. Anyways, you wanna make a bet on the game? Oh, uh, no. Suit yourself! I don't have any money. What what am I supposed to do with these? I feel like I'm supposed to be able to use them somehow, but I, I don't... can't leave without watching the game. Oh really? Can I like go over to her? And then Can I drag it? No, I can't. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with that. Let's watch some Goblin Ball. No. Why do I have to watch it? What an embarrassing series of unfortunate accidents for the Milton Marauders. First, hometown hero Jorbala Pepstein barrel rolls out of the way and completely avoids the Marauders' lightning-fast offensive line. Next, the Sprawl's own dynamic duo, Edie and Audrey O'Goblin, shave all 14.7 seconds they need off their time in order to open the Diamond Snoff's cage. Incredible! We only see that every few years! It all comes down to the final wagon wheel toss, and the coach has sent in Sir Warren of Bainbridge, the bad boy of the Brawler's midfield passive-aggressive line. He's muttering something to himself. He spits. He lifts the wheel above his head. He spins. He spins again. He spins a third time, and it's launched! But what's that? The Marauder's weather wizard sends a fierce gale force wind at the wagon wheel, and it's way off course. And it's coming this way! Oh god, I'm stuck in this booth, and it's coming right for me! Oh god, tell my wife I love. <laughs> Yes, it sounds like it. You could have made some real money! Eh, come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Yeah, I could have made some money, but, uh... I didn't have anything to make any money with. No, I'm gonna go step my shift. Yeah, that's fine. No. What's this? Oh. A mysterious present? Perhaps a secret admirer? Your choice for the champion. Uh, haven't heard much of the mage yet. Uh, Bonus have for now. Ah. A fresh true spray upgrade slot. Sweet. Nice. Oh, okay, monster manual. 
Ooh. Oh no. Lots of reading. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Goblins. I'm probably going to need this. <clears throat> Righty ho, let's get some crystals in here. We're going to need at least one for the truth ring. One for the metal. Two for the truth. Put that in here. Put that in here. And I'll put that one in here. Cool. That should do us. Let's see how bad this gets. I like good night shift. Which Good time? evening, child. I have not seen you at the post before. Yeah, you know how it goes. Drew the short straw this time. Burning it at both ends, you know. Just gotta keep on trucking through. I hear you. Working the graveyard shift myself. Yeah. You said it. <laughs> what did you say your name was, sir? <sighs> Heinrich. And last name? Von Pyre. Yeah. Von Pyre? Von Pyre. Title? Uh, Count. <laughs> Your name is Count Heinrich Von Pyre? Yes. Vampire. That's a fun name to have. It is? <laughs> It is! Why, thank you, little girl. I happen to come from a long line of vampires. I have no doubt in my mind. Oh, I probably should read the board. Uh, whoops. Oh, wait, this is the board. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Okay, so I gotta find... Vampires! Okay. What do I need to know? A usually evil, but by, not to juggle, but by its cover. And certain past vampires, stuff, just channels, and cover up their ghastly deeds in a rainfall. Eh. Recently, as a result of the power of vampire me, rights movement, but by. Okay, so. <clears throat> Change into a bat, hypnosis, flight, sunlight, garlic, wooden stakes. Yeah, nothing here I can really use. Huh. Hmm, let's talk to him a bit more. So, are you, uh... Running late? Yes, I am. So if you wouldn't mind inviting me in, there is an urgent matter I must attend to. Did you say invite you in? Yes, it was an arrangement I had with the guard who normally works this location. An arrangement that, if broken, would be a real pain in the neck, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but why do I need to invite you? It's just a nice thing that people do for people. Wouldn't you like to be invited into places? I guess I would. See? It's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get out this truth serum. I wanna know what it's up to. <laughs> Your tawdry magic spray does not have any effect on me, child. Maybe I have something else that'll get you talking. Well? I thought I had an idea there for a second. Uh, oh, I could- oh no! 
Ah, uh, I clicked on the screen and it was clicked off, so it... Ah, uh, crying out loud. Oh, well, I just wasted that. Wait, so if the book here opens that, but the board also opens that, I don't... Okay. I'm not gonna let him in. Deny. Lol. There is no way I'm gonna let you in. You're clearly a vampire. You're here to suck the blood of the innocent and create evil minions. Hey, there is no need for that. Excuse me? Yes, I am a vampire. But I am not defined by it. I am also a prominent member of this society. And I am running late for my job at my clinic. I am a chiropractor. Huh? I've never heard of a late night chiropractic clinic before. It is for other vampires. There are more of us than you think. And I do not appreciate you discriminating against us with your hurtful and dated vampire stereotypes. Oh, I'm dear. sorry, I never knew. This is my first night shift. I mean, sure, when the odd normie comes in, we crack their back and then maybe bite their neck a couple of times, but it's all in good fun. Now, <laughs> would you kindly reconsider your choice and invite me in already? You know, I still don't get a good feeling about this. It's going to be a hard pass on letting you in. Oh, the nerve of some people. You'll regret this. Whatever, Von Pyre. Uh... uh huh. Uh, we only got two stars, though. I didn't give him the. Uh... Oh, it's this guy. Listen, little girl, there isn't much time. You must send me to jail immediately. I pray you don't make me explain any further. We haven't the time. I feel like I've seen you before. Did you go to a funeral for a cat recently? Sprinkles! That vile beast of a feline. I am certain that cat cursed me and turned me into the monster I am today. Hmm. I assure you, I am in my right mind. You must gather the other guards and escort me to the dungeons right now. I know it is a strange request, but it is a matter of grave importance. And by grave importance, I mean someone could die. Hmm. Okay, I think this sounds a bit overblown. Seems to me this could be some kind of panic attack. You do well to panic, little one. Ever since that mangy cat's funeral, the people who attended have died under mysterious circumstances. Ah. And I am certain that I am the cause. Sprinkles cursed me. Cursed me! No, I'm not convinced. I want to get out of the truth serum thing again. I want to know more. I used to love fine jewels and necklaces, but ever since that lousy cat's funeral, even looking at a silver locket causes my eyes to burn and my skin to crawl. Uh, something cursed me that day. I'm sure of it. I can feel it coming from the inside, trying to break free. I cannot contain it much longer. The sun has set. Every second is precious. Is it a werewolf? There is no telling what I may do if left unchecked. I beg of you, this is our last chance to prevent catastrophe. Arrest me! Arrest me now! Uh, let me have a look at that bug. It sounds like a werewolf. Wait, he's not a necromancer, is he? No, he won't be. He's definitely not. Oh. Werewolves. Uh. Okay, we'll put you in jail. You asked for it. Jail it is. Thank you. Bless you, child. The world is a safer place now. 
I really hope you get the help you need. <laughs> well, let's see what happens to that one. Oh, it's a restart. Okay. I asked too many questions from the sound, but... Oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, little one. Not a god. Just an incredibly handsome mortal. People make that mistake all the time. It is I, Prince Phineas, heir to the throne of Petrod. Oh, yeah, this is a good night out, apparently. Incredibly handsome? Really? <laughs> Eleven out of ten, baby. <laughs> Barf. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> Do you have anything to declare? Please say no and just go about your business. As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, yeah, dear. I was afraid of that. I declare that I am... Drunk? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, actually, hold on. Yes, yes, I am drunk. Sauced. Three sheets to the wind. Nay, four sheets. Oh, dear gosh. No sheet. Okay, and I feel like I'm gonna regret asking, but what have you been doing tonight? Well, what do you want me to say? Milkmaids? Uh, or what I've been doing with the milkmaids? Oh, dear gosh. <laughs> well, we've come this far. What have you been doing with the milkmaids? I got thrown out for trying to stretch a single into a double. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, both. It's both. Gross. Aren't you here trying to win the hand of Princess Desdemona? Well, sure I am, but when the Mage's Guild throws a party in your honor, boy, do they know how to show you a good time. And you can't stop a fox from stealing eggs, am I right? Huh? Oh, dear gosh. Good night, Prince Phineas. That's me. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. Now get out of here, you drunk fool. Oh, all right. Dear. Hopefully I won't regret that one. Ah, oh, dear. Good evening, my dear. This is Abernathy. You're out awful late, especially with all these comings and goings about the sprawl. Oh, my stars! Would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you. I'd best be turning in. Mm -hmm. My dad will sure be glad I've seen at least one familiar face tonight. Your dad? Yeah, you know my dad. Hamish. Oh, yes. Hamish. Your dad, Hamish. Best be getting home to bed. That's funny. I don't think I've ever heard you call him Hamish before. Yes, usually I call him your dad. No, usually you call him Shamish. Yes, Shamish. Best be getting home to bed. That's not right. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Doppelgangers. Here's a doppelganger. Very rare, apparently. And chaotic evil. Small to medium humanoid. Oh. Okay, I'm probably a shapeshifter then. Wait, do I just put the shapes for in jail? Does your loved one seem more other than usual? Maybe they've been replaced with the shapes. Anyway, do the shapes show them an item they should recognize where possible? Show them their child. Show them Jimmy. Huh. Should I show them an item it said, didn't it? 
where possible, show them their child. Show them Jimmy. Huh. I'm not really sure how to deal with a double ganger. I want to use a decoder ring and see what happens. I haven't used this yet, apparently. Ow. It literally just takes me to the page. That was, um... That was a waste. Okay. Something is seriously weird here. Didn't I read somewhere about showing people something familiar? Does this do anything for you? Oh yes, it is very nice. Thank you. That was one of your award-winning bonds, Mrs. Abernathy. You don't recognize it? Award-winning bonds. Hmm. Don't you recognize it? You're not Mrs. Abernathy at all, are you? <laughs> Get out of here, you lousy shapeshifter monster! Oh, perfect score. Nice. That'll boost my rating a little bit. Well, oh. well, well. If it isn't the little girl who works the guard shed. I was hoping we'd meet again. I'd love to stay and chat, but I have a rather important meeting to attend. I don't recognize you. And what exactly is this meeting you're attending? If you must know, I was summoned by Prieto Kargan personally. It is a highly confidential matter that doesn't concern you. Hmm. As a guard of the kingdom, you don't tell me what does and does not concern me. I tell you what does and does not concern me. A backbone. Interesting. Foolish, but interesting. <laughs> What is he? What is he? Can we... Hmm... Hmm, 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 hmm. We wasted a truth storm. I could go back in time, but I don't really want to use the thing in my bob. Uh... Hmm... Oh, he's not one of those. Forest Int, maybe. Last creature is extremely dangerous, but I could apply threats to that. Mm. Hmm. Definitely not a goblin. A herring? Red. No. More people. Hmm. I'm not sure what he is. He's obviously a mage. He's wearing a cape. We let him in last time. I do remember now. He has the same wand. But he's dressed a bit differently. Hmm. Why does Praetor Cargan want to meet with you? Hmm. I'm feeling rather generous today, so I will tell you. The Marvog High Council, led by Praetor Cargan herself, are concerned. As ceremonial killings have become more and more common, their numbers continue to dwindle. With that in mind, the Empress reached out to me regarding the practice of necromancy to preserve the life force of some of these... Brave fallen souls. Necromancy is a dark art. Isn't that bringing dead people back to life? Oh, child, it is so much more than that. 
With knowledge of life and death, the future and the past both fold atop one another, connecting us to all of time and giving us the ability to foretell not only what has been, but what is to come. Hmm. Necromancer. A lawful evil. Interesting. Uh, not everyone here has chosen the dark arts once they've. I don't know. Should I actually let him in? <laughs> okay. Um. As uh, although not illegal, you should be discouraged from entering. Well, if it's not illegal, then. It's only discouraged. Technically, I can't do anything? Was it Ash? Uh, let me ask. Hello! You've reached the office of Councilwoman Ash. Unfortunately, she doesn't tend to city business after hours. Late night intern Trav is speaking. What can I help you with? Oh. Pay attention, Trav. There's a creepy dude here. I've met him before. A mage named Ty... Ty something... Tyler? Tyronius. Right, Tyronius. Says he's got a meeting to get to. Well, I know that the councilwoman has full trust in the mages' guild. They know what they're doing. Sure thing, Travis, but I don't trust him. Remember, your job is not to make policy, it is to follow policy. Nothing wrong with a citizen of the sprawl coming and going as they please. For a temp, you got a lot of attitude there, bucko. <laughs> I could say the same about you. Blarg. Okay, thanks for... Nothing? Right, thanks for nothing. You're very welcome. Anyway, I'll write this down and Councilwoman Ash will get back to you at her earliest convenience, likely after 10 a.m. Don't bother. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Useless. Well, no choice but to let him in. I hope this doesn't backfire with zombies walking around. Praetor Cargan will be most pleased by this. You actually did your job today. Your parents must be so proud. I almost My dad, maybe. Out. My mom's dead. Would you like me to do something about that? Ugh. Just go. <laughs> uh, it's not like you're personally started. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not getting a good score this time. I'm tempted to go back and redo the entire day and choose different options, but oh gosh, that's big. Uh, oh. <gasps> that's a problem. Oh my god! Are you some kind of... Scary tree monster? <sighs> yes! Now let me in or I'll thwomp and stomp you! We can always put him in jail. What was the thing on this guy? Uh, he's one of these forest ints, right? Uh, Uh... Yeah, he must be one of these. Hmm. <laughs> what happens if I try to jail him? You just break out and run right in the city, maybe? And what hmm. business would you say you have in the sprawl this evening? Too many people come through my woods. 
too many strangers stomping on our roots and throwing their garbage on us. Me and my brothers and sisters say no more. Yeah, I don't doubt that. That must be really hard on you and the other scary tree monsters. Not all are scary. Huh. So if people coming through your woods is bugging all of your plant friends, why didn't they all show up? Why just send you? Plant friends got together and decided scary tree monsters should go. Scary tree monster was voted the scariest and strongest and can walk pretty well. So he was the one elected to stomp and swamp. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like that. you have a pretty democratic way of figuring things out in the woods. Yes, but we must still be wary of the tyranny of the majority. Hmm. Shall I jail him? Not really much I can do here. These aren't going to do anything. Maybe I could use a whip? I don't know what the whip would do other than tell me what I already know. Or I think I know. Can I give him rice? <laughs> Enough with your questions. Scary tree monster will start to stomping and thwomping now. Oh dear. Okay, I didn't mean to upset you, big fella. Let's just take it easy, and I'll decide if I can let you in or not. No deciding. Just make up your mind. No, we're gonna decline him. I don't want him blowing. Maybe we should tell him. Uh -uh. <laughs> this might end badly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we are full up on tree monsters today, scary or otherwise. I'm afraid your entrance has been denied. Oh. This is an outrage! Scary tree monster hate bureaucracy. If I cannot stomp and swamp in the city, I will stomp and swamp outside of the city. Whatever you do in your own time is your business. That might come back to Humby. Okay. That's that's way better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, shady. Hello. I wish safe passage through this gate. Mm-hmm. Can do. I'm just gonna need you to lift that hood. Gotta see if you're human or elf or gelatinous blob. We've had all types tonight. I'm afraid I can't do that. I assure you, I am human. Now please allow me safe passage. <laughs> no, you're an elf, I think. You've got a real mysterious, don't ask me any questions vibe going on. What's up with that? I simply have nothing to state or claim. I just wish to enter. You know, I'd say you have a trusting face, but I haven't seen it yet. And you won't. You're an elf. An elf. Is there anything in here about else? I think there was. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe a mole person. Uh, no, that's apparently small. I actually have no idea. Let's even get some more. So, are you here for business or pleasure? I'm here on business, which is mine and none of yours. Now, please let me pass. Hmm. Oh, you'd be surprised what's well, technically my business. You know, me being a gate guard and all. And you are doing your job admirably. Now, will you please let me pass? 
Getting a knife. Hmm. I use the x-ray machine. A necklace. Interesting. Whoa, what's with the neck candy? A little out of place for someone dressed so discreetly. My necklace is none of your concern. So you stole it? I did not steal it. Then it was a gift? Yes, from my mother. I wish I got a gift like that from my mom. Only thing I got from her was this hair. Yeah, I'm gonna return it. You know, I could keep this in order to get you to tell me more about yourself, but I won't. I greatly appreciate that. Greatly enough to tell me who you are? No. <laughs> Aw, you're no fun. That emerald looked like the real thing. Maybe I should call one of the higher-ups about it. Too late. Nah, I'm gonna admit them. That could be a bad idea, but we'll find out. We will find out. I don't know why, but something tells me I should let you enter. Maybe it's the necklace, maybe it's the nothing else you've told me about yourself, but I gotta follow my gut on this one. Thank you. The choice you made here today will not go unrewarded. Tacos. What? Make my reward tacos. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> That is she the prince? Yes. Hooray! Interesting. Okay, okay, that wasn't a terrible choice. I have not made some great decisions, but we are still alive, and we got over at two star. Oh, I didn't quite get three star. Oh, only ten gold for my shift though. Okay. So that was a good choice, but I didn't do something right. That was fine. That was excellent. That was not great. Hmm. Well, it's not too bad. We all like a good graveyard shift. Oh, I guess I'm going straight to bed. It's great to bet. I, I really want an endless mode for this game. That'd be pretty cool. It's oh. you. What are you doing here? Are you here to give me taco? No, <laughs> I've come to reveal my true identity to you. <gasps> oh. So, no tacos? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Desdemona. Desdemona? I can't remember who that is. Hey! Princess Desdemona? Nah, I knew it all along. No, you didn't. Why split hairs? But what about the kidnappers? There were no kidnappers. I disguised myself and ran away. I'm sorry for all the commotion I've caused. But I had to get away to say goodbye to someone important to me before my wedding. I knew it. Well, not the, the yeah, that part. I knew it. I don't understand. I'm being forced to marry one of the suitors from these two rival kingdoms. Yeah, yeah, that's old news. What I don't understand is why you, a princess, are here talking to me about it. Shouldn't there be more official people that could play therapist? Like Stryker? Ash? Oh god. Oh, not Malcolm. I know my father had faith in them. Yeah. I when I'm gone, your advisors will help maintain the balance. Blah, blah, blah. They want me out of the way so they can control my father's kingdom. They've never been good at listening to what I want or how I want to rule this land. Nobody listens to me. Sing it, sister. And now I'm being forced to choose between allying the Sprawl with the kingdom of Petrard or the Marvog Empire. You mean Phineas the Pompous Prince or Cargan the Praetor Terror? And it doesn't even matter if I love them or not. 
At the end of the day, it's strictly politics. Lucky me. This is the first time in the game I've been okay being 12. <laughs> I just want to make the right choice. Tell me, Lil, what do you think of Prince Phineas? Uh... He's way higher maintenance than you seem to be. And he's an asshole. Nuff said. Yeah, I kind of agree. And what about Praetor Cargan? What do you think? Um... So, well, there are ways of doing things with Barbaric, but, uh... Hmm, that's a difficult question, actually. Hmm. I'd probably say I have my doubts, but she's not... Well, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, that's a difficult question. I don't think either of them are a great choice. Not if you already Honestly, have somebody else in I mind. think it's bull They talk about honor, but she's got a lot of blood on her hands. Hard pass for me. So if you were me, and you had the future well-being of the sprawl in your hands, who would you choose? Neither of them. Uh... Is there another option? The, if I remember correctly, Pitred is the one who basically has no money and is, owns that sulfur thing. And then the warrior. Warrior's Thank probably you for the your honesty. Idea. I know my advisors have jerked you around, but I also know you don't always do what they say, and I like that. You remind me of, well, me. And you remind me of me too. If I was rich and beautiful and influential. <laughs> oh, you are influential. You've changed the course of fate more than you know. Don't forget beautiful. I am also beautiful. <laughs> the sun's coming up. I must go. I shall put my own heart aside and do what's best for the kingdom. No, don't do it. The are both terrible. We got an achievement. Although clearly a vampire uh, was also registered. Oh, maybe I should have let him in then. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Uh, this city, man, it's messed up. Oh wow, okay. Uh, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh sweet, okay. So he was a werewolf. That was a good choice. Unfortunate. After her fire, recovery of the second family. Yeah, unfortunately, on this. <laughs> yeah, and suddenly he's cursed again. Ah! Lol. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, okay, I did choose the the, the warrior. Yeah. Hungry and drunk. Oh, fire him. No money. How we go? Oh, oh I, his room reeks burns. Oh. Oh dear. Then should be chosen to marry princess. Yeah, we got rid of the shapeshift there. Yeah, that makes sense. Was trying to break. <laughs> Low. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, I'm assuming that's why I still have rice then. Uh, of necromancy. Uh huh. Of rising dead spells. Oh dear. Name it. Girls interested in her. Mm. Oh yeah, the big scary tree. You found hatred. Poor <laughs> 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 campers. Safe within the boundaries of his forest. <laughs> but <laughs> victory. Oh no. Maybe he could visit the city keeper's office. Well, I tried to change things. Sorry. Bye. Oh dear. Hey, the princess! She was to answer any questions regarding whereabouts. She immediately issued a royal decree to cut funding to any active rescue missions and put an end to the. She was by flash game shows. Oh, thank goodness. And the fate of the. Oh, okay. Uh, level six. And although the princess has come home, she is still remaining quiet on where she was during her missing time, but frankly, I do not care. She's got that look at me, I'm back attitude, and it reflects in her style. You know it. She was seen returning to the castle, rocking those possibly was kidnapped leggings, all while sporting a I might have just run away and ran out of money <laughs> hooded cloak. What do you think she's going to be wearing at the wedding? No idea, but no doubt it will compliment her chosen spouse's home kingdom. That's right. Princess Desdemona has finally made her choice, and it's Praetor Cargan of the Marvog Empire. I knew it was going to be them. It was the obvious choice from the get-go. So obviously obvious. So, so long, Prince Phineas Pomp of the Petrard Kingdom. You just didn't make the cut. <laughs> Bye! Bye bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Bye. Bye. Oh dear. Bye bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Wait, does this keep bye. repeating? It does. Bye. Well, guys, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> wouldn't want to be ya. See ya.